Hello, hello, hello guys. Welcome to day 10. So today we're going to be looking at the row filter node. This one is very, very important, especially when you have a large data set and you don't necessarily want to use all the data. It's good to filter out things you don't need early on, including missing values, because you don't want to be processing so much data through the workflow that you actually don't need. So for this use case, I'm going to be focusing on flights that are coming into Florida. And I can easily use a row filter to get the data I actually need. So if you look here, we actually have a column for the destination state. So I'm going to use this column to get only information for Florida. Now the row filter node, it's extremely versatile. You can filter based on so many different criteria. So you select the column you want to apply your filter to and in our case that's the destination state i'm going to use this one which has just the state code and not the actual full state name and we only want to include data if the state is fl for florida we can actually exclude cases that are florida by clicking on this and we can make this case insensitive to get everything you also have the option to include rows based on row numbers. So let's say you want to get the 200,000 to the 400,000 rows of data. You can do that in here. You can exclude based on numbers as well. And you can do the same based on the row ID. Now back to the include exclude, you can actually do things which have wild cards and you can make inclusions, exclusions based on regular expressions based on regex as well so for our case it's pretty or straightforward it's just fl for florida so we are going to include the rows which have florida so once i run this now we can see we have only seventy-eight thousand rows of information whereas before we had about 1.2 million let's say i want to even do some further reductions let's say i only want to have Let's say I only want to have information in the 21st century. You can see here we have some flight dates from the 20th century, the 1990s. Let's say we only want to have things in the 20th century. So, sorry, in the 21st century. <laughs> Let's bring in another row filter. And we're going to apply that to the flight date and we're going to use a wild card. So go to file date, uh, flight date. And we want anything that includes two asterisks. So anything that starts with a two, we want that to be included. And make sure you click on contains wild cards and it's going to work that way. When we run this, we've even reduced that data even further. Now we're at 52,000 rows of data and we only have things in the 21st century. We've lost everything from the 1990s. And that's the row filter in a nutshell. Tomorrow, we're going to look at the column filters to see how we can get rid of columns to reduce our data size even further to only things we actually need. Thank you so much for watching, guys, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.